Hello everybody, I hope you're really, really well. This is not another wildlife program. This is me out in my garden, which needs brushing of leaves from winter, but um, it's, uh, I'm just sat here, it's quiet. You'll probably hear birds tweeting and all sorts, but I wanted to just talk to you a little bit um, and just share a couple of things that um, I think are really, really important in growing your business. You know, as a business owner myself, um, there's lots of challenges that we face on a daily basis. You know, um, there's there's cash flow, there's there's operations, there's all these different things that we're doing: new business, sales, administration. They're all going on, but often the marketing or the development of our business is is the last thing to do because it's the easiest thing to ignore. Marketing and growing your business is the easiest thing to ignore because it doesn't. The problems of not marketing don't creep up on you quickly like anything else like if you don't do something or if you don't do your credit control that problem will creep up on you really quickly but with marketing it can be two and three months before you realize oh we should have done that and um, the secret to good marketing the real secret to good good marketing is not uh, thunderbolts and lightning it's consistency it's doing something day in day out day in day out day in day out work it work it work it work it work it and there's always room for improvement, but actually you just have to do something. And a lot of businesses, um, having worked with, oh, I don't know, a hundred businesses maybe over the last 15 years or so, um, maybe more actually, um, one of the things that happens is that um, marketing and business development activity, I'm not talking about sales activities because if you've got salespeople, it's their job to daily get sales, new business. I'm talking about the ongoing things of the organization, the organization's efforts to grow the business. So direct mail, emails, customer engagement, all those different things, brand building, um, email marketing, social media, all that stuff that's going on has to have a plan and a strategy and it has to be executed daily a little bit every single day what what we'd like to do is we like to yo-yo or roller coaster we go up and we put loads and loads and loads of energy in and then we come down and um, we see this a lot i was speaking to somebody recently who said oh we've got we've got a lineup of pr and we've got a tv interview and i said that's fantastic absolutely fantastic that you've got that kind of attention on your business fantastic but that will be over in a few days. It will be gone. You, you, you will be um, a, a link on Google. You will be uh, somewhere on that feed. Um, it's stuff that happens every day that builds things up. And it's not a miracle cure. It is a lot of things working together and they pay off. Rather than, you know, going down a... a we call it actually events versus process. Marketing often is used in an event scenario. I mean, like it's an activity that happens at a particular point in time versus something that happens as an ongoing process of the business. It becomes a highlight rather than an ongoing activity. And that's really the key to really solid marketing. Not going for thunderbolts and lightning, just going for steady, eddy, sometimes boring and mundane, but it pays off. Um, so that's really something that I think is really, really important. But, but to really make that kind of steady eddy activity work, you have to have some coordination into it. You have to know what you're going to say, who you're going to say it to, and how you're going to deliver it for the best impact, even if it is a little and often uh, approach. So really think about this. You know, it doesn't take a lot of money to grow a business. It takes a lot of thought and energy to grow a business. You know, it just takes you contacting the right people. And at an event we did recently, um, a client said that they sent um, something like 100 brochures to different companies and one of them paid off. And, uh, but you have to learn to improve on that. So, so that worked brilliant for that client. And I'm sure they're doing and planning other things that will help them become better and better at marketing, but also better at developing their own business. So it is about having that plan and that, that kind of, uh, roadmap shall we say of how to grow your business but it isn't always about money sometimes often it's about doing something consistently and not going into a yo-yo and not going being dazzled by lots of exciting things yes there are really exciting things in business but marketing should be steady solid consistent and creative so uh don't don't get blitzed by the gl glitzy lights um don't um run off here, there and everywhere, create a plan, write a plan, even if it's a really simple piece of A4 paper, 
write a little plan and say, this is how we're going to grow our business. This is the list. And these are the activities. And this is what we want to communicate to our customers. This is the key messages and the key messages that resonate with them. And we're just going to work that. And if you start there and do something on that every day, that's a brilliant, brilliant start. And you can improve it and develop it as you go. So that's my thought, guys. I hope that's been beneficial. Um, if you want to talk a little bit more, I'm more than happy to jump on Skype and uh, share some ideas. And if you think that's really cool, maybe we can work together a bit more deeply. But guys, do something little and often, steady Eddie, and improve from there. Have an awesome day.